guys so today I'm gonna do this look here for you and it's kind of like my cut crease but a little bit kind of vampy as well with the dark lips and the blood cherry liner so without further ado let's jump on into this video all right so as you guys can see I do have my cover-up on already because I'm just using my Clinique redness solutions in 01 so we've got that on already so now I'm going to go ahead and start doing my contouring and stuff. So I'm going to be using this handy dandy little NYX Wonder Stick, which I have been completely obsessed with since I bought it. It is amazing and it is so simple to use and I just love it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to contour my face now. So now that we look all beautiful and gorgeous like this, oh, there's a fuzz. We're going to take my flat brush and we're just going to blend it all together. Alright, so now that that's all blended out, I'm going to go in and do a little bit of bronzer now just to darken my skin because it is starting to get into springtime and you kind of want to have that little bit of a bronze just off vacation look. So for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Avon Glow, which I am obsessed with this stuff. I can't wait till they start to get their summer stuff for Avon again because I this is my last one that I actually have and I'm going through it pretty fast because I am extremely pale in the winter time. So. Let's go ahead and do my bronzer now. Alright, so I look like I have a little bit more of a healthy glow to me. So now we're going to go in and start doing my blush. Alright, so for my blush I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Sexy Booster. This one right here with the cute little high heel on it. It's kind of been my go-to blush because it's not too bright, but it's not too like light pink either. So it's definitely been my go-to this past winter, and I'm probably gonna start switching it up to a few different other colors come spring and summer, which we're in spring now, so probably see another few other colors coming from me. But yeah, let's do this blush. So, just a little bit of color popping to my cheeks there. So now I'm going to go ahead and set it all with loose powder. So for my loose powder, it's still my Marcel face powder here. I love this stuff. This literally lasts me like so incredibly long. It's ridiculous because there's so much in there. I've had this one for about like three months now, I want to say. And like literally it's still like you can see it's still pretty much full. Like it's crazy. It goes a long way. Alright, so now that my makeup is set, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the fun eye stuff now. So as always, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Hard Candy Eye Primer, Eyes the Limit. Because this stuff is like heaven to me. I love the consistency and everything of it. So we're just going to go ahead and prime my eyes with this. So now that my eyes are primed, let's go on to the eyeshadow. So you'll have to bear with me. I've never actually really done a good cut crease before. This is going to be my first time kind of trying to do it really nice. So bear with me on this part. But for my eyeshadows, I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Golden Hour Eye Palette. And I'm going to go in, if I can get it open, I'm going to go in with these three colors here these three right there just because I I don't know I love the neutral kind of colors so 
I figured if I'm going to try to do a cut crease, I might as well do it with colors I really like. So let's jump into doing my eyes now. So now I've got kind of my base color going on, so now we're going to go in and darken the crease a little bit. So now I have my crease darkened a little bit, so I'm going to go in with a little bit different, just a normal eyeshadow brush. And we're going to do the lighter color just to kind of highlight in my corners and a little bit on my brow bone a little bit. And then just bringing the light color just down a little bit as well. Alright, so... For my creasing color, that is what we've got. So now we're gonna go ahead and start with some eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna go in with my Lancome Le Crayon in Bloody Black Cherry. So I'll just kind of swatch a little bit for you guys. So it's kind of like a deep plum purple kind of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner with that. So let's jump into doing this. And I'm using a pencil one because I want to stay really, really close to my lash line. And I find with liquid sometimes I like to overdo my liquid eyeliners, so we're going to stick with this guy. So that's going to be what the top liner looks like. Alright, so now I've got the liner on both top lashes. I'm going to go in and do a little bit on my waterline. Not too much and not too far in. Just enough to kind of darken my waterline a little bit. So I'm just going about halfway through my waterline there. So I'm just going about halfway through my waterline there. So as you can see, just to darken up the corners just a little bit. So for eyeliner, that's good. So we're going to go in and do my eyebrows now. So I recently just bought this through Avon and it's their brow powders. So this guy right here comes with the wax and the powder. I don't actually use the wax because I find that it's just, it feels weird on my eyebrows. I'm not used to having something like that on my eyebrows, so I don't really use the wax. But I love the color because now that I have dark hair, it matches my hair color so well. So we're going to go ahead and just darken my eyebrows a little bit. So as you can see, it's not too much, just enough to kind of fill in any holes that I have in my eyebrows. Alright, and eyebrows are now good. So before I put mascara on, I want to go in with my highlighter, which is the Benefits High Beam. And this one is in the Satiny Pink. So it's not quite the white highlighter because I find that that's just too much on my skin. But so a soft pink is really, really nice. But I actually really like this stuff. At first, I had the worst time trying to put it on. But now that I figured it out, I really, really like it. And you don't have to use the brush. I personally like it because I just find that it just kind of softens it enough that I don't feel like my face is oily, which is what I hate the most in a highlighter is when your face looks oily. So that's why I'm using the brush for any of you wondering. So now I'm just going to kind of highlight my bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin as well. Ok, 
Okay, and now I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit on my brow bow just to kind of accentuate that just a little bit more. All right, so for highlighting, we are now done. All right, so for mascaras, I'm going to use two different ones because I'm weird like that. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Last Sensation, and then I'm going to go with the Avon Super Shock Max, just because I find the combination of these two together makes my eyelashes look really, really good. So I really, really like using them. So let's just go in and do this. So now I'm going to do over top of this with my Super Shock Max one. So as you can see my eyelashes look really really good with this combination on. So now I'm just going to do a little bit on the bottom just with the Super Shock Max as well just to kind of make it look like I have bottom lashes. Alright, so for the eye makeup, we're good, so now we're going to move on to the lips. So as always, first things first is some Burt's Bees, just to make sure that your lips stay nice and hydrated and don't start peeling. Now that we've got the Burt's Bees on, I'm going to go in with my NYX Lingerie Matte Lipstick in Honeymoon, this color right here. It's a little bit darker just because it kind of got a lot of dark going on so I want to kind of stick with that on my lips and I found that when I wear a light color it kind of takes away from the intense of the eyes. So we're going to go in with this one. And even though it's a matte lipstick I'm going to go in with a little finger trick as well. So now this look is complete. All right guys, so that's been my kind of like vampy cut crease look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was actually a lot of fun trying to learn a new makeup thing to try to do for a video for you guys. So if there's any other like makeup things that you guys can think of that you want me to try to do, I will 100% try them for you because I love learning this kind of stuff. So again, I hope you guys like the video and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. I will be doing a new one every single Monday. And don't forget to hit that little notification guy now to make sure that you get notified when I, my videos go live. And yeah, again, in the comment section, if there's anything, literally anything you want to see on my channel, let me know in the comment section below and I will try really hard to do this kind of stuff for you guys. Because I really enjoy taking suggestions of what I can do on this channel for you guys. And yeah, once again, I hope you guys like the video and I will talk to you guys later.